Okay, um, Storm OSD. Um, I think this one is the second version two. Okay, uh, the plane on the picture. So the nose of the plane. Okay, got a picture. Uh, so how do I hook it up? So um, this wire is the GPS. GPS right there. This one goes to the uh, current sensor right here. Okay. Okay, this one here. Okay, you see the first pin is off because I removed the jumper. So I use the positive in the middle pin and the ground the downward pin and this go here. So I power my video with uh, a 3S battery right there. Okay, this is gonna power my video system and my uh, video transmitter plus it's gonna power the uh, entire uh, OSD okay um, now if you take the middle servo wire here uh, by the way this one is a GST connector it's fit nicely so uh, no need to uh, cut servo wire and you know it's it's straightforward you just pin it there let me show you GST connector like this so positive in the middle pin center pin and the negative bottom pin okay you just there you go right here okay so the middle servo wire which is this one go to the camera okay camera wire is the middle one here and the last one goes to the video transmitter follow the wire my video transmitter okay go back to the OSD okay f so it's pretty straightforward for this side if you don't want to power your video and the OSD with your uh, a second battery you you place the jumper the top and the second pin so the current will loop in this but uh, I think you don't have power yes and it powers your uh, video but you only have one, a single battery it's up to you now this is the this wire goes to this and you use this printed circuit board to navigate through the OSD menu okay so that's good for this wire so the first servo connector so I use the first servo connector here is your RSSE okay and you only add one wire and you okay you use you use the signal signal uh, wire which is the top one I, I know it's red but it should be white okay so if you can see it's the top wire Top pin, I'll just remove it so it's connected like this. Okay, top pin with the first. Okay, okay, for the RSSE, 
RSSI, I don't know. Okay, and let's go to the my receiver. And okay, on my receiver there is only the red wire I use. But again I should use the white, I should have used the white and the red one is the signal. Uh, no, it's the ground. Okay, I plug it on the ground. Okay, free. Okay, it's, I think you may be, you may connect it elsewhere, but it's really connected to the ground on the receiver. Okay, that's for the RSSI, the first one here. Okay, the second, the second one. This one. Oh shit! I think it's the L round on the uh, receiver, and the. Second one, the third one. So after the RSSI, -E uh, those both servo wire led goes to the receiver as the aeron and elevator. Okay. In the middle, okay, the two middle goes to the servo those two here and the two last one are for the display and the other one is for um, switching between uh, OSD mode which is uh, normal so you control the plane by yourself uh, I think it's uh, altitude uh, maintain altitude and the last one is um, return to home with the stability in the in the OSD. So I'm gonna hook. I'm gonna hook all the battery, and then I'll be back. Okay, as you can see on the the screen here, we have the OSD display, and uh, this is my RSSE and the. Uh, was wrong lately. The red wire goes to the same signal, which is the down, down wire. Okay, <laughs> I was wondering why it was ground, but it's uh, it's not the ground. Okay, shit, but the camera is freaking out because okay. Okay, so this is the RSSE. Okay, you have the speed. Okay, no, that's why because uh, I use two main battery and video battery. It's the main battery and the video battery voltage. So you can follow both of voltage. Uh, total consumption so uh, I think this is uh, my pitch uh, altitude uh, direction so those are the servos and uh, since I'm inside the uh, GPS uh, searching for signal all right, and uh, this is the overall uh, travel I made. Okay, now uh, this is supposed to be programmed with this switch to change the display. Oh, now my radio causes interference, as you can see. I've and I've did I did not. Place my uh, <clears throat> my uh, filter. 
So, okay, here's the second display you can have. And the third option is no display at all. Okay. I go with it. And the uh, other thing you can do with the uh, I set it on this uh, pot here is to change mode, flight mode. As I turn the pot, it's supposed to. Okay, you see, it's locked. So my altitude is locked. So I just turn it off like this. And if I turn more, the return to home will engage. So, uh, I need to push, I think, two back, two first, two bottom, bottom at the same time. Okay. And you, okay, you push the, those two bottom at the same time and you go in the ESC menu uh, OSD menu so you can scale your battery can reset current uh, you can center your servo you have to center your servo with this uh, to calibrate the OSD and you don't trim your servo you place it center here and here you make your adjustment okay uh, you can set to uh, tail or eleven roll pitch con pitch control the angle return to home altitude rest gyro like on the flat surface the RSSC you have to set it so if I click OK I set the max so I click on you wait it's 3.13 volt okay and if I turn my radio off it's gonna shut down to zero okay or you can set sorry I'm just fucked up okay and you can go to minus okay and while it's flashing you have to turn off your so okay I just turn off my transmitter okay so you wait and it's zero you set the minimum so can turn back oh. So I go to max, turn on the radio, zero, but I just, okay, now it's turn on, you go, you're on the max, just wait a second, 3.13, okay, next, uh, recording, I don't know what it is, editing hold, uh, I got to try this. Return to all attitude. No. And the video. F fuck. Video format. I don't care about this. Okay, so. I exit. Okay. So. Sorry for the shitty video. Okay. The RSSC is 100 and as I turn off the transmitter go down to zero and as I turn on back to 100 so The RSSI working good. So I think that's it.
video transmitter getting hot so I'm gonna have to stop. So bye bye.